SpongeBob SquarePants has been a fan favorite for decades, with the first episode airing in 1999. SpongeBob, along with his closest friend Patrick, his boss Mr. Krabs, and his neighbor Squidward, he goes on everyday escapades and gets himself into a variety of amusing situations. However, thanks to the internet, and notably Reddit, hundreds of SpongeBob hypotheses have evolved online, many of which are reasonable and some of which are simply ludicrous. Regardless, a slew of sinister suspicions regarding this kids show have surfaced, so here are the 10 darkest fan theories from SpongeBob SquarePants. Here we go. First up at number 10 is Patrick suffering from antisocial personality disorder. Patrick is one of the series' weirdest characters, with some of the funniest quotes. He does, however, have a tragic, gloomy side. Reddit user Jobless Kermit believes Patrick suffers from a condition known as antisocial personality disorder, or ASPD. They went on to state that Patrick displays three of the seven symptoms of ASPD, including failure to conform to societal norms with lawful behavior, impulsivity and failure to plan ahead, and reckless disregard for the safety of self and others, among other things. Number nine is that whale barf is Mr. Krabs' secret ingredient. Mr. Krabs has done some terrible things in Bikini Bottom, and if this SpongeBob conspiracy is genuine, it may be added to the list. Reddit user No Turn Back Now had an intriguing notion about Mr. Krabs and whale barf, quote unquote. They said, quote, in the actual world, whale barf is quite valuable. We know, however, that this industry does not exist in Bikini Bottom, end quote. So where could Mr. Krabs get money for his own daughter's barf? As one editor put it, the secret ingredient of Krabby Patties contains whale barf. Everything makes sense now. At number eight is that Bikini Bottom was created as a result of nuclear testing. According to Redditor Antinestio, Bikini Bottom was under the island Bikini Atoll, which is not only where nuclear weapons were tested, but also what the Bikini swimsuit was named after. The actual bottom of Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands is where the US government conducted 23 nuclear tests during the Cold War, exposing SpongeBob and his aquatic pals to nuclear radiation. Alternatively, these could be people who used to work in the nuclear facility, but have since switched to aquatic mutations, explaining the present letter system and costume of these fictitious species. Number seven is the idea that the seven deadly sins are the main characters of the show. Cucumber D revealed on Reddit that the seven deadly sins, sloth, pride, greed, gluttony, lust, envy, and wrath might be represented by SpongeBob's major characters. They argue that Mr. Krabs fell victim to greed, Plankton is envy, Gary's third name is Sloth, Sandy is pride, Squidward is wrath, and Patrick is gluttony. This leaves lust for SpongeBob SquarePants himself. The Redditor did, however, go back and alter their posts to make Patrick Sloth rather than Gary. With such vivid and distinct personalities, those in the SpongeBob world may have been inspired by these faults, if ever so slightly. At number six is that the Krabby Patties are made with real crab meat. Mr. Krabs is obsessed with money, and he may have gone to considerable measures to obtain it according to this notion. Why does he keep the formula so closely guarded, even from his own cook and the general public? According to Redditor Borg2525's idea, quote, Krabby Patties are made of crab meat, so Mr. Krabs is making people eat his own kind, end quote. This explanation may be slightly reasonable in explaining the formula's secrecy and why no other crabs are seen at all across the show. At number five is that the Krabby Patties are made with crab meat substitute. A counter theory to the previous one in Mr. Krabs' favor is that he discovered a vegan crab flesh alternative, allowing his customers to experience the taste of crab meat while he is guilt-free. This explains the Chum Bucket's failure since people loathe the genuine fish meat despite having a perfectly fine substitute in the Krabby Patty. This also explains why Plankton wants to be the boss and sees Mr. Krabs' formula for the secret meaty substitute that's his key to success. Number four is SpongeBob is a war veteran suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Waking up at the same time every day, adhering to the same schedule and timeline day in and day out in a tiny town with a quiet job, wearing the same outfit every day? 
All of these details made little Tony suggest that Mr. Squarepants is an ex-army soldier who has PTSD and was sent back because of battle fatigue and now tries to live a full life as a fry cook. His speech habit of addressing people in positions of authority as sir and showing immense deference to all of his seniors sounds like military training, something he can't seem to shake no matter how hard he tries. At number three is that the entirety of the show is a parody of World War II Germany. SpongeBob as a cartoon has a tendency to address some serious problems. That being said, it's possible that it's because some of the narratives have a deeper meaning. Drake Grayson believes that SpongeBob SquarePants represents pre-World War II Germany. As an Adolf Hitler stand-in, Squidward is a failed artist and a jerk who wants to get rid of his neighbors. Patrick represents the victims of the disaster, and Sandy, with her Texas roots and amazing perseverance, represents the United States. Finally, Mr. Krabs represents the rest of Europe, looking down on Hitler for his atrocities and overall oppression. At number two, every character in the show suffers from a mental illness. A similar hypothesis to the one mentioned before contends that not only SpongeBob, but everyone in Bikini Bottom suffers from a mental ailment or disorder. According to Strawberry Uwu Girl, she believes, quote, everyone in SpongeBob is a personified walking mental illness attribute, end quote. SpongeBob acts impulsively and does not always make sense. He, according to the hypothesis, is addicted to codependency rather than a substance. Patrick suffers from multiple personality disorder, which explains the several parts of himself that he displays throughout the show. Mrs. Puff also suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of her many car accidents. And our final theory is that it's all an incredibly complex representation of global warming. One especially sinister idea floating in the darkest parts of the internet contends that the entirety of SpongeBob SquarePants is a complex allegory for global warming. As one Redditor stated, quote, SpongeBob represents the waste and pollution that is made in the world, and as global warming theorizes, pollution causes greenhouse gases that warms the earth and would inevitably cause global flooding, end quote. They could be onto something given that SpongeBob is a kitchen sponge and not a marine sponge, but this could also be a little far-fetched. So there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? Let us know down in comments below if you have your own crackpot theory on SpongeBob SquarePants. With this, we're going to wrap up the video, though. So if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible videos like this one. We hope to meet you guys in the next video, but until then, I'll catch you later.